2017 GNAC Women's Soccer Championships. Northwest Nazarene will be taking on Concordia tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And we're with the GNAC Coach of the Year, Mary Trigg of Northwest Nazarene. Uh, Mary, congratulations. What, what does it mean for you to have brought the Nighthawks to this point in, in just four years' time? Yeah, it's been... Um it's been it's been great. I mean, we've um, worked hard for it. It's taken um, a while, but you know, I think we were um, hoping it would come even sooner. But uh, we've learned that cultures and good cultures take a while to create. And our seniors um, were my first recruiting class, so to see them um, completely bought in and get the reward of their hard work has just been fantastic. There's even been marked improvement just between last year and this year. What has been the change? Yeah, last year we we had a lot of um, injuries and some key players and Cassandra Clark um, our center back and Hannah Holm one of our forwards and a couple other players so I think this year um, a little bit of luck with it that we haven't had any major injuries and um, just also the coming together of a new group we had a lot of new transfers last year and getting that one year under their belt I think has, has helped a lot. Talking about Cassandra Clark, the first team all GNAC defender. Defense has been a real hallmark for your team, allowing 15 goals in the season. Danielle Ortiz has been a great asset in the goal. Talk to me about your defense and what that has meant for this Nighthawks program. I think our team just overall is really gritty. They have a, a mindset that um, they're just fighters. And they once they started winning and feeling what, that, what success felt like, I think they just um, we're going to fight even harder to keep it, and so we just have a really gritty team and and girls that are um, completely bought in. And looking at the offense side, uh, led by Maddie Taylor and Ricky Meyer, seven goals each on the season. Taylor with uh, ni 19 points. Not a lot of goal scoring compared to some of the other teams in the conference, but they seem to, to score just when you guys need the need the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, we've had some of our our forwards come up big for us in key moments. And, um, but yeah, you'll see on our team, our goals are, we don't have that one big time 14 goal player, but um, we've had a lot of different girls step up. First time at the GNAC Championships, but I imagine this isn't a happy to be here type of trip. Uh, yeah, I mean, part of it is we're, we're thrilled to be here. We're thrilled that um, we're in the top four, but uh, we talked to our girls about, um, we accomplished some things and now that's over and a whole new season has started. So. Uh, Today on, everyone who's in this um, tournament is 0-0, zero zero, so it starts over to tomorrow, so it's a fun experience. You take on Concordia. They've allowed one goal all season in conference play. They come in as the number one seed. They come off the ups upset of Western Washington last weekend. Do you prepare any differently than you saw them the first time around? Yeah, I mean, we watch more film on them and, and watch what they've been doing lately. But um, we know they're a very good team. He's, they're athletic, and Grant's done a good job of building from front to back. Um, they don't have too many weaknesses. So we just know that we'll have to come really prepared.